Greetings, fellow Raiders. Today we will cover another champion in Raid, Shadow Legends lore. It is the story of Dark Athel. When a champion dies, his or her soul remains bound to the shard, never allowed to fade or pass forth into other planes of existence. It slumbers peacefully until the time comes and Teleria requires their strength once more. But the realm of the dead is not without its own dangers. With the help of his mortal minions, Siroth brought his newest pun into the world, armed her with profane weapons and armor, and set her out on the path of destruction. It is nigh inevitable Dark Athel shall one day clash in battle with her hated sister. With Siroth's power on the rise, and the shadow slowly creeping in to consume all, not even the souls of the just and the pious are safe. Reviving Athel after she and the others in the party have fallen to Hellraiser's flames was no easy task. Eager to gain a powerful servant, Siroth was swift to try and corrupt the noble paladin's heart. The Arbiter intervened and, with Athel's own spirit resisting desperately, managed to purge the shadow in a short but grueling battle of wills. Alas, their victory was far from total. Athel was brought back as pure and determined as ever. A fraction of her essence was lost to the shadow. From it, a dark and twisted reflection was formed. Though similar in appearance and skill, this doppelganger craves nothing less than the complete destruction of her original self and everything she stands for. As a bloody battle between the champions of Teleria and the corrupted servants of Siroth comes to an end, Athel is about to face her greatest challenge yet. Ravens circled above the field, moving in a swirling black mass, their cawing, overwhelming and almost triumphant. Rose to a crescendo, somewhere overhead as Athel picked her way through the bodies of the slain. Attracted by the scent of blood that hung heavy in the air, these vultures did not take kindly to the interloper who dared distract them from their feast and yet the young warrior pressed on. Past the forest of mangled spears and shattered swords, past the tattered banners that fluttered in the wind, here and there the wounded stirred and whimpered in pain. Athel hesitated. She would have abandoned everything to help those suffering soldiers now, yet in doing so, she would have forfeited both their lives and her own. Opposite her, a figure stood alone, still as an onyx statue, clad in a black cloak that almost seemed like it was weed from the fabric of shadow itself. The stranger waited. Eyes unseen stared deep into Athel's soul. She could feel it. The aura of sheer malice that radiated from this warrior was almost as palpable as the chilly bite of the evening breeze. One thing was clear beyond any doubt. This was no friend or ally. Athel approached drawn to the shadowy silhouette by some unknown force. From there, she could see the eerie crimson light that danced along the blade of the stranger's spear. Dark magic, Athel realized. Everything about this felt wrong. Who are you? She demanded firmly. Show yourself! There was a moment of silence. Then, as a soft, barely audible laugh that made Athel clutch her teeth and tighten the grip on her weapon, Instead of an answer, the stranger reached up to pull the hood off her face. What was underneath made Athel's heart skip a beat in horror. And that is the story of Dark Athel. Till next time, my fellow Raiders.